Hello and welcome to the first lesson in this Space Chase set of tutorials. This is going to be over a few lessons and the idea is that we are going to look at the planning stage of this lesson first and then in subsequent lessons we are going to start uh, building our Space Chase game. Now the idea is quite simple. By the end of this series you should be able to make something like this which is a little game, a shooting up game, where you can move around with this little joystick and you can fire uh, at these enemies as they come down and you can see there's a score counter here and if I just purposely crash into that there you can see it's, I've lost some health and there's a collectible object there as well. So before we start in and start developing our game, we need to start planning. Now you've all got access to this planning booklet. Um, it'll be under the, the link where it'll be, it will be under this video. And if you need any other access, please let me know. So if we look at the first slide near the planning section, we are basically gonna be planning our characters, enemies, and collectibles. So the first part is quite simple what we are going to have to do is design our player now if i just go back to my little design here you can see the theme is space so i've designed a little rocket here and i need you to do the same now it doesn't have to be a rocket it could be whatever you want it could be a spaceship it could be absolutely anything now you'll notice you've got 16 blocks by 16 blocks right this is representative of what you'll get when you use make code arcade and you can see eight by eight here is the middle block. Now, if you want to start um, basically shading these in, what you do is you click in the table and then at the top here, you'll see a table tab. And what you'll also notice is that you have an option there for, for cell shading. So if I click on one of these as an example, I can click in it and then that will turn to a certain color. If I highlight a few together, you can see then that I can change a few of them into the same sort of shade and color as I want. Now, all you have to do is you have to build a nice design for your player. Now, you can use any colors you want. You will be limited with the colors you use when we actually make the um, actual game. But for now, you can use any colors that are in the palette here. If you make a mistake and you think, actually, I don't want this color anymore, if you highlight the cells again, and then click on cell shading and then just put it back to either white or no fill that will remove the color that you've put in there as well okay so what you are going to do is you're going to aim to design some form of player here now once you've done that you are going to do the same sort of thing on the enemy now you'll notice there's two enemies here enemy one and enemy two and ideally they need to be completely different now, if I just go back here to my game, the idea with this game is that I will have one enemy here. As you can see, this one's moving towards me here and I'll have another enemy there. Now, the different enemies are worth different points because they'll move at different speeds. So, for example, these normal enemies will be worth less points than that red one that you saw at the start of this game. Now, you can design both your enemies here in this 16 by 16 block. Once you've done that, you can then go on to the next part, which is the collectible. Now, a collectible is something that the player will collect and we can basically give extra points or we can give extra health or we can do any number of different things to allow the player to basically continue on with the game. So you need to design a collectible here. Once you've done that, there's one or two questions that I'm going to ask you to think about. And then that will be the majority of the first lesson done for you. And the planning then will be complete. Now you'll notice this booklet does have a few more pages in there. These will be used later on in the design when we have created our game. So your first task is going to be quite simple. You are going to complete the planning sections by completing the collectibles, the enemies, and your player design and answering the questions that are on the bottom of page six.